Hey guys, Arpim here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day this video. Okay, I want to give you guys an update of my RTX 4090 I have here that has been on Octospace over the past week. And I just want to tell you right away, it really hasn't been rented at all. And I just wanted to go through and show you guys that. And uh, it actually has been rented sometimes, maybe like less than, I don't know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. And there's been certain times where someone has rented it for some type of render workload. So I wanted to show you guys that. I thought that was uh, quite interesting, but I haven't really earned that much. Also, I wanna go through looking at some other platforms. I do have my 5090 down here, which hasn't really been rented either. Uh, it was, but now it isn't. I wanna show you guys some of that as well on uh, Clore.ai. I know some of you guys know that I've been predominantly on Clore.ai and it hasn't really, it was okay maybe last month, but this month it's been pretty bad. I think it's been pretty bad all around for a lot of different platforms in terms of being rented. So I just wanna go through that. We'll look at some stats and stuff. So I'll see you guys in the computer. I'll show you my numbers and we'll do that right afterward from today's video sponsor. CryptoMinerBros.com. Since 2018, Crypto Miner Bros has been the go-to source for all the top crypto miners trusted by miners worldwide. The prices you see on their website in includes shipping and DDP to your door, so there are no surprises at checkout. They ship to over 100 countries and even offer lower invoicing to help you save on customs fees. Pay with direct bank transfer or crypto payments such as Bitcoin, USDT, or Caspa. Ready to save even more? Use code REDPANDA at checkout for $70 off each ASIC ordered. Join tens of thousands of satisfied customers who trust Crypto Miner Bros for their successful hardware fulfillment, transparent price and world-class service. Visit CryptoMinerBros.com today. Link down below. Okay, so I've had a singular 4090, RTX 4090, with a Ryzen 9 7945 HX. It's one of those mini forum uh, motherboards, 64 gigs of RAM, uh, PC, essentially, with a 4090. And I've had it on Octospace for about a week now. But it hasn't really been rented. And there has been times where it's been rented, I think pretty much almost the past five days or so on this uh, service render, okay? Not sure if that means it was mining for mining or for something else, but uh, it says it was only duration. You can see here, 21 minutes, four minutes, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, one minute, 10 minutes, three minutes, nine minutes. So it hasn't really ever been rented for anything longer than 30 minutes at all. Uh, but you can see my payment here is uh, in Okta, uh, which is pretty small, pretty much haven't been paid a lot. Now that I'm looking at it, the traffic, it's actually in the couple hundred megabytes. So that might tell me that somebody may be using this for short, short term, some type of workload that requires something uh, for a 4090, but the traffic is quite decent. And I remember before someone was renting my rig for qubit mining. Uh, this is right in the beginning when I forgot to change the price of the rig. <laughs> it was at like less than a penny and someone rented it right away to mining qubit. And it was rented for like 15 hours. And you can see the traffic here is very minimal, right? Mining takes no bandwidth at all. But when it comes to rendering, it looks like whoever rented it for the, you know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, four minutes, they're using a couple hundred, a couple hundred megabytes of, uh, of bandwidth here. Okay. So of traffic. So that, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool to see. But the sad thing is I'm not getting paid a lot. <laughs> okay. So over the past week, I just wanted to give you guys an update of my 4090 here, but I also just wanted to go through now the, uh, pretty much how many GPUs or how many nodes are on Octospace. And thank you to Mr. Chris for sending this to me uh, during a live stream. Now we can see uh, this is api.octa.computer slash network. Um, this is the uh, link. I'm looking at it pretty much like this. And I do want to compare this to uh, pretty much my Clore.ai, which none of my Clore rigs are rented anymore because it looks like Clore.ai is also quite uh, saturated. And I want to talk about that as well. But um, yeah, I think it's it's coming to a point where we are seeing, I mean, I'm hearing it a lot more that uh, a lot of people are not getting their rigs rented. And I mean, that makes sense. Uh, there's been a lot more hype regarding making AI rigs. And this is where the state of AI is now, I guess, uh, for 
uh, the consumer uh, retail level type of AI. I'm not talking like maybe private platforms or people that have enterprise grade hardware that are on, you know, private platforms. We don't know if they're rented or not, but probably are because I did a video last week talking about the reality of all this GPU AI stuff and uh, seven days ago. And a lot of you guys had a lot of good comments here, which I do want to go through later on in this video. Uh, just regarding the state of AI, I guess, and AI rental and stuff. So, okay. So first, before I do that, first thing I want to go through is this api.octa.computer slash network uh, link here. This basically shows uh, what the average, you know, like how much a 3090 is rented for, uh, how many 3090s are on Octa space right now, how many 4070s, 4080s, you can see here four of them. 4090s is 132 4090s on Octa space right now. As we go down, okay. You can see nodes idle, there's 837 idle, and then rented, 379, right? If we go scroll down more, you can see the total amount of nodes on Octospace right now is 1,216. Locations, 70, okay? VPN, 184 nodes that have the VPN enabled. Then it says uh, platform users. There's 10,880 users on Octospace, which is, wow, that's, that's a lot of users, actually. But looking at just the main thing here about the count, okay, of the nodes, which uh, could be all these, you know, singular GPUs, uh, which is the biggest thing here. So this is the big one here. Rented, nodes rented, 379. And then there's 837 that are sitting idle right now. So there is really not much demand. There's a lot of supply and there's just not enough demand uh, in, this one, in this one case here using Octospace. Okay, so you guys can see the disparity there. Uh, in terms of the idle and rented uh, GPUs on Octospace and also the uh, average pricing. I think the average pricing seems to be coming down, which is kind of uh, kind of scary. And uh, an RTX 4090 on average, it looks like on Octospace is rented at 25 cents an hour, which is pretty low, right? I remember on Vast.ai and Clore.ai, I think the average was like, what, 30 something, 40 cents. Now that Octospace is here, it's showing 25 cents on average. So the pr rental pricing of these GPUs, especially like a 4090, is now coming down. It's basically the 5090 is the same as a 4090 when it, like when it was, you know, a couple months ago for 4090. So it's coming down, okay? Uh, there's 110 RTX 5090s on Octospace right now. Wow, that's, that's a lot. That's a, that's a lot of uh, 5090s. Um, but let's look at, let's like, let's take a look at Clore.ai. All right. Clore.ai has over 12,000 GPUs on their platform. Okay. Um, I don't know if this is necessarily meaning, you know, there could be, you know, one or eight GPUs on a single, uh, rig, but this is just total GPUs. Um, mainly we can see here the disparity of how much is rented right now. So it looks like there are about 38, 3,900 rented GPUs right now out of 12,613 uh, as of recording here, or 12,751 GPUs, looks like some people are adding on, comes and goes, I guess. But then there's also this on-demand here. Uh, but if we added both of these together, it'd be about, what, 8,000? Okay, 8,000 GPUs. Look, like this, this jumped up, 4,137 rented GPUs. But yeah, around 8,000 rented GPUs. So about a good one-third of Clore.ai's platform is not rented, okay? And you can see, you could rent a few, I can show the rented servers. You can actually see the rented servers on Clore.ai. Uh, you can see here by rented, but there are plenty of 4090s here that are not rented, okay? And as we scroll down here, um, I mean, there's some that cost more, which for me, I have a lot of my 4090s rented, uh, sorry, uh, posted at over $8, $9 a day and it's obviously not rented because nobody looks like anymore is wanting to pay that type of money. Uh, but yeah, you can see on Clore, it's quite saturated in that regard. So a good one third of the platform is not rented. And on Octospace, a good, yeah, two thirds is not rented. <laughs> it's sitting idle on Octospace. So yeah, that's, that's rough, right? That's rough. And now looking at this, I just saw an infographic. Uh, thank you to, I think it was uh, Mr. Swamp7. Thank you for saying this to me. Basically, Octospace, right, 12, over 1,200 GPUs, I guess that would mean equal to the 1,200 nodes, right? Basically, their GPU pricing here, it looks like they say it can be rented as low as 12 cents per hour on a 4090. So I think this is where they're trying to uh, get more demand, right? Get more clients out there to go on their platform. And this is where, you know, okay, so 
you guys know essentially you know the state of ai rentals right now this is where i want to read some of the comments uh from the video i did seven seven days ago this video right here the reality of all this gpu ai rental stuff so i want to read some of your comments okay i pinned retro mics he said seven days ago effing youtubers ruin everything yeah it's true israel social seven days ago he says youtubers ruin every opportunity of something new that generates money comes and they keep the money by monetization uh so this first part here youtubers ruin every opportunity of something new that generates money comes and they keep the money by okay i i don't understand this second last part but this first part i mean it's true i mean where we are in a sense it's true but if we didn't provide this type of information out there none of it would either get adopted or used or anything like that which uh, actually good segue into these next couple uh next couple comments here okay so i have one here from mr mindsum 10 he says make tutorials on how to use the platforms from the renters perspective educate people on how to use the services you provide not train the competition it's elementary dear watson so i don't think i i don't okay first off i don't know how to use um these platforms in terms of all these different applications anything llm stable diffusion deep seek i'm a, a crypto mining youtuber okay in that regard so i personally am not gonna i'm not a coder i'm not a developer i don't know how to do any of this stuff this ai stuff tensorflow um you know all this stuff requires some type of programming language coding I don't know how to use that type of thing. So that's probably best suited towards other people, other crypto, uh, sorry, not crypto, but other YouTubers who want to, you know, showcase this type of platform that, you know, they could rent out and utilize these Docker images, essentially machine learning, workloads, deep learning, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I mean, sure, there's some other things I could, I could maybe show, like how to do crypto mining through these platforms. I mean, that would be pretty easy to do. But I think the biggest thing is the education on uh, what Mindsum10 was talking about here uh, is just the perspective of someone, you know, to showcase how to utilize these platforms from a, yeah, renter's perspective. I, again, I, <laughs> I wish I had the mental capacity to, you know, go in and show how show people how to utilize it from a renter's perspective uh, when it comes to AI workloads. But I just personally, I, I, I just don't know how to do any of that. <laughs> so I, I think that's best suited for other people. But from my perspective, unfortunately, as crypto miners, as a crypto mining YouTuber, you know, it's 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 like the double edged sword, you know, the, the thing where we I show you guys how to put your GPU you know, on these platforms and to rent out in order to make money. And then lo and behold, as more and more people get on these platforms, it depends on the demand, right? If there's going to be enough, uh, you know, enough demand uh, for these platforms to be utilized uh, and uh, for everyone to be rented, right? It's, I don't know, it's like a two-way street analogy. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but yeah, we need, <laughs> there's the supply and then we need demand. That's how this whole like AI <laughs> GPU rental economy, I guess, is going to work for, for us, for those that are wanting to essentially just make money from renting out our rigs. And it's become saturated at this point, uh, unfortunately. Okay, so guys, that's it. That's all I wanted to do. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts. Um, otherwise, yeah, you know, it's, it's like crypto mining all over again, you know, as we uh, showcase getting into something and it gets... You know popular you know, you know and it gets saturated and then it becomes unprofitable that's that's just the way it works yeah it, that's just the way it works and uh, whether or not you know whether i or me or other people in this space content creators have to also show the other side of it uh that's that's gonna be their own prerogative and uh i don't know if that's something i'm i i just i just can't get into <laughs> obviously because i i don't know how to i don't know how to do uh ai myself so that's kind of hard but you guys let me know down below. You guys have a good one. Peace out.